get started on our dinners, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about today's video. This is a collaboration video with Valerie from The Hargett Life. Last week, we started a series um, for the next few Sundays um, where my What's For Dinner videos will be in collaboration with someone that I want to thank for helping me get started on my YouTube journey. Valerie was one of the first YouTube creators that I commented on her channel. And I was so nervous and shocked whenever she responded and was so sweet and um, was very welcoming to her channel. And she definitely set the bar pretty high about how to build a YouTube community. So thank you, Valerie, so much for teaching me the importance of engaging in my audience. So today, Valerie and I are both sharing what's for dinner videos for you. I have Valerie's channel listed below in the description box, as well as her what's for dinner video this week. So let's go ahead and get into our dinners. Hey guys, tonight for dinner, we are having boneless, skinless chicken thighs in the oven. So what I'm gonna do is I have a dry rub that I'm gonna to put together. I This is salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, thyme, brown sugar, chili powder, and paprika. And I'm gonna mix this up. So we're gonna bake this in a preheated oven of 450 degrees. I found this recipe on Pinterest, so I'll make sure that I link it below. All right, so we have boneless, skinless chicken thighs back here, and we're just gonna add them in to the dry rub mixture. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set this to the side. For our side tonight, we are gonna have these scalloped potatoes and they will cook the exact same time that my chicken cooks in our oven. These will get done about five minutes sooner than our chicken uh, breast, our chicken thighs will. I am following these the exact um, directions on the back of the package, not doing anything special, just going to, um, eliminate one more box in my pantry. All right, so um, my oven is preheated and I have my potatoes ready. Next, what we're gonna do is we are going to just take our chicken um, and place it on a cookie sheet. Now, it says to take some avocado oil and spray on the top. I'm gonna get this into my preheated oven along with my scallop potatoes and I'm gonna turn these halfway through. Cooking time is anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes depending on how large your thighs are. You wanna make sure that your internal temperature is at 165 degrees to ensure that they are done. All right, guys, my chicken is out of the oven. It almost looks like it has barbecue sauce on it. It looks amazing. And my potatoes just came out as well. So I'm gonna give this just a little bit to rest and then we'll get it plated up. And here is dinner at our house. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs and scallop potatoes. Hey guys, tonight for dinner, we are having air fryer salmon and air fryer asparagus. What I'm doing is I'm starting with the rub that is gonna go on our salmon. Sorry you guys, if you hear racket, um, Abe has a bone and um, he's always pretty loud with his bone. So I have some brown sugar and then I'm going to add in some garlic powder, some Italian seasoning, and some paprika. I'm gonna give this a good mix. Could I have used any smaller bowl? <laughs> I 
All right, I'm gonna keep on getting this mixed up. Next, I have two salmon fillets. Um, these are, do not have the skin on. And um, what I wanna do is I want to pat them dry. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to salt and pepper our salmon. I found this recipe on Pinterest. I'll be sure to link it below um, so that you have all the details. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to coat our salmon on both sides with our, season, with our seasoning mixture. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set these to the side, I'm gonna give my hands a quick wash, and we're gonna start working on our asparagus. Okay, I have cleaned my asparagus and I have trimmed off the ends, and now this is super easy. All we're going to do is take a piece of bacon and we're just gonna wrap it around a bundle of asparagus. And we are ready to assemble our air fryer trays. All right, so the first thing I have put some nonstick cooking spray on this sheet pan, and I'm just gonna transition over my broccoli spear, or broccoli, I've called this everything other than what it is my asparagus spears onto this sheet. Next, we're gonna take our salmon and we're gonna move it to our basket. I'm gonna preheat my air fryer to 400 degrees. Okay guys, my air fryer is preheated I am going to put my asparagus on the bottom rack and I'm going to put my salmon in the basket on the top. And I'm going to turn the timer on for 10 minutes. They did say that the um, asparagus, could, asparagus could be done in as little as five minutes depending on the thickness of the bacon. So I'll start checking it in about five minutes. Okay guys, our salmon um, just came out of the air fryer. It looks and smells absolutely delicious. I'm going to tint this um, to let it rest while our bacon and asparagus spears finish up in the air fryer. And here is dinner at our house tonight. Salmon and bacon wrapped asparagus in the air fryer. Hey guys, so my husband has been working in the yard for the last couple of days. We finally had a nice weekend, weather-wise, and our yard needed some serious attention because it had been so wet and cold and we hadn't been able to do anything to it really since the fall. So he has been working in the yard and he said tonight he just wanted a big chef salad for dinner, nothing heavy. So, um, this weekend I went to like a, um, a, a cooking show and um, they were selling like stuff, kitchen gadgets and that kind of stuff. They were selling this salad knife and it says that it prevents um, the lettuce from browning. So I was like, perfect, I'll be able to give my knife a try. So you guys, This thing was $6, so I might have wasted my money. Oh, there it goes. Gotta have a little bit of muscle. There it goes. Okay. I don't like those big white parts. all those white cores, I don't like those. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sit, I'm going to go through and chop up my lettuce 
and um, I'm also get I'll get everything else out for our salad and I'll be back in just a bit and show you what all we got okay guys as a reminder you know I'm trying to use up stuff in my pantry and in my fridges so lettuce was a great idea for us I had a head of iceberg lettuce I needed to use up I had some cucumbers I needed to use up and I had some tomatoes. So that is the base of our salad. I also had some lunch meat that I needed to use up. So this is ham and this is turkey. And then I have some green onions here. So I'm gonna put all this in here. Then I have some mini pepperonis. I'm gonna add some of that. You want pepperoni, right? Just check it with him that he really wants pepperonis. You tell me when. Then I have some bacon bits that we need to use up. All right, next. I have some Colby Jack cheese that's in the fridge. I have some sunflower seeds that has been in the freezer. croutons that have been in the cabinet. Salad Supreme. And then I also have this Marzetti's Honey French. It's so good, you guys. This is our favorite salad dressing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this all mixed up. So my husband will have salad tonight and then he will take a salad for lunch tomorrow. So that's why I just kind of threw everything in one big bowl and then he would have salad for um, two days. And here is dinner tonight at our house, chef salad. Hey guys. Tonight for dinner, we are having super easy uh, frozen pizza. My husband worked overtime today and um, and he's not too hungry. And just said he wanted something easy. So I have been, I bought these at Aldi. Um, I've seen several YouTube mamas um, saying how good these are and how much they taste like the Motor City Pizza Company or Detroit Motor City, something, something like that. There's a brand name that sells pizzas like these. And so I am preheating my oven to uh, 425 and I'm gonna get this in the oven. Okay, our pizza just came out of the oven and we are gonna get it sliced up. And this is dinner tonight at our house. Here you go. Okay guys, that just about does it for this week's What's For Dinner video. As a reminder, don't forget to check out Valerie's channel if you're not already subscribed, as well as make sure that you check out her What's For Dinner video that's linked in my description box for lots of great dinner motivation. Thank you all so much for following along today and most importantly, I want to send a happy Mother's Day shout out to all the moms out there. Enjoy your special day. And don't forget, Jesus loves you. I'll see you guys in the next one.